Schwab and we are at my studio in uh, East London, that's uh, Dalston. The most recent um, association I have with, with me looking into fashion and just being generally interested was pretty, pretty young. I must have been like around 12, 11 years old because I went to study at, with 15, so it must have been quite early and I remember I was always obsessed with fabrics and you know like I, I always sat down and doodled with lots of lots of things my mom was a, um, a self-educated stuff like garment maker just making her own outfits and and my aunt would always bring gorgeous fabrics back from Italy from her holidays um, so it was kind of a very early sort of um, obsession I would say the collections usually start pretty much um, quite accidentally, but obviously there is always the heron behind it. She is very mystical. I don't know um, her personally. She's a fictional um, uh, woman. She's a cluster of personalities, I would say, like from all different women that I met in my life. And that, I think that's the purpose of creating fashion. The signature and key pieces throughout the history of Marshbab was more than anything the um, association with the body form and you know actually conceptualizing something that is very much a seductive sort of um, media like using the body as it's in, in, in its entirety and using it in order to create something that actually hides the nudeness just became concept. It is very much like the, the little black dress that has like a hidden sort of um, layer or like hide and reveal sort of section about it. Um, I think these are the hallmarks and generally like the, the technicality, you know the layering of things and you know I think also the timeless uh, element of it but the main point is always keeping focused on you know like clear lines around the body like there is a very significant element about the marsh pub garment which punctuates on, on certain topographies of the body like whether it is um, the pelvis or the decollete lines um, but also the intriguing sort of um, of connection with fabric and skin I think is something that I'm obsessed with. I think this is very much going back to the, the you know the obsession of hiding and revealing and layering and veiling things and you know because it's always like there is something that you want to you're intrigued and you want to know more about it.